Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching, get this! I was getting ready to do a video on my NS Level Pro 120, which I got with my own funds, no one is sponsoring this. The video was about on how to ditch the EWLink firmware and run Home Assistant natively on your device. As you can see in the sped up uh, 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 B-roll, this process is pretty involved, but it starts with you enabling developer mode on your device. If you didn't know when you do that, you irreversibly void your warranty, you stop receiving firmware updates and there's a risk of breaking your device, which is rare, but it happens. Now, as I was getting ready to do the video, just a few minutes before that, a new firmware update hit my device. So I thought, okay, I will update the device and then I will do the recording to make the video as future-proof as possible. But it turns out that this new firmware update version 3.7.0 includes a functionality that really renders the almost renders the entire old-fashioned process completely useless. It's called web shortcuts, not to be confused with web pages, which is an existing pretty crappy functionality. With web shortcuts, you can run Home Assistant dashboards natively on the device without needing to enable developer mode or voiding your warranty or do ADB commands. And even if you have several Home Assistant uh, servers, for example, one in your parents' house, you can just create a second web shortcut and just swipe between them. There are a few bugs here and there, and I will talk about them later on. But for now, let's go over to the device and see how to use this new functionality. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm on my mobile phone. My NS Panel Pro is already connected to power and I've already added it to my eWeLink uh, app. So all you have to do is open your eWeLink app and go into your NS Panel Pro device. Now, if you haven't yet received the firmware update, make sure you search for it and update it to 3.7.0, otherwise you won't have this functionality. Mine is already updated, and if I scroll to the bottom of the, of the uh, menu here, you will see a new web shortcut feature, and let's go ahead and click on it, and click on Add. You can see that already the device auto-discovered and found my home assistant server now this functionality at least in my test in my tests doesn't always work if you see the url it's not really all that uh, correct so what i'll do instead of adding this auto discovered instance i will click on the plus button right here in order to to uh, configure my own url so let's call it ha as in home assistant and my IP address or URL is HTTPS, and then I will type the rest of my uh, Home Assistant URL. All right, that's my URL, and I'll click on Save. That's all you have to do in the eWeLink app. Now let's go to my actual NS Panel Pro and see what it looks like on screen. Alright, so here is my NS Panel Pro. I already created the web shortcut in my mobile app. And all I have to do in order to actually access the web shortcut is just to swipe to the right. And here it is. Here's my Home Assistant login screen. In fact, let me log in for a minute. So here it is. I'm logged in. I'm using a panel, a dashboard that I created just to demonstrate some of the, uh, the screen. It's not perfect. It's not something, but it, it, it is great how it's running. I'm using also wall panel in order to make it really full screen without the, the sidebar and the top bar. And how great is that? It's fully functional. The responsiveness is better than the web uh, for sure than, than the web pages functionality and it is a lot better now there are a few bugs for example sometimes you will see that the device the web shortcut is stuck sometimes you will hear the device reboot itself you will hear the startup chime sound and sometimes the proximity sensor will not wake the device when you approach it these are all very annoying bugs i'm pretty sure they will be addressed in future firmware updates but at least you didn't need to enable developer mode in order to get here. So when there's a new firmware update, you will be receiving it. So again, it's up to you if you want to use this 
safer way or the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way does work, hey, it does work a, a lot better with a lot more customization. But again, this is the more safer route. All right, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.